This is part three of our video series on inequalities. Today we're going to solve the same inequality as in the last video, but we're going to do it graphically. Of course, we'll get the same answer. But first, today's anagram is astronomer. You have to rearrange the letters in astronomer to come up with a word or a phrase related to astronomer. Pause the video at any point to think about it. I'll give the answer at the end. Okay, how in the world do we solve this inequality graphically? Well, we have to apply a bit of a trick, you might say. Let's bring the 10 to the left-hand side so it's less than 0. And now let's get a common denominator, which will be x minus 5. 2 stays the same, but I have to multiply the negative 10 by x minus 5 and divide by x minus 5 to get that denominator. So I'm going to get negative 10x plus 50 because it's a negative 10 is a negative. That's less than 0. Now let's consider the corresponding function y equals that has to be less than 0. And that reduces to 52 minus 10x, or simplifies to that over x minus 5. Now let's consider some of the features of this rational function, such as the x-intercept, the y-intercept, any vertical asymptote, and any horizontal asymptote. To get the x-intercept, you imagine y equals 0, because you're on the x-axis. So this expression must equal 0. Now, the only way the denominator can make something 0 is if it's plus or minus infinity. But those aren't real numbers. So you ignore the denominator that cannot make it zero, just like you ignore your mother. So that would be 5.2, because if that's equal to zero, x must be 5.2. Now, to get the y-intercept, you let x be zero. So you put zero here, so that's gone. You put zero here, so that's gone. So you have 52 over negative 5, which is negative 10.4, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Now, as far as a vertical asymptote, that's where that's a vertical line where the grass graph cannot cross, and that would be where x equals 5 because x can't be 5, so the, the graph doesn't pass there. And as far as a horizontal asymptote, that's where the graph levels off horizontally if you go way left or way right, what's the value where this graph levels off? Now, to see that, you'd have to imagine that the x's get really, really big or really, really negative, big in that sense. And then these numbers will have no impact. So you just get negative 10 x over x, or negative 10. So it will level off along the line y equals negative 10. All right, with that information, let's graph it and then solve this inequality. We want to know where the function or the graph is below the x-axis. So let's do that over here. the x-axis, this is the y-axis, this is the origin. The vertical asymptote is x equals 5, so let's say that's 5. The graph cannot cross that line. It doesn't exist on, along that line. The horizontal asymptote is x equals, or y equals negative 10.
So the graph will level off at that height. The x-intercept is 5.2, so just a little bit to the right. The y-intercept is negative 10.4, so a little bit below the horizontal asymptote. And then you have to consider what happens if x is a little bit bigger than 5. Is it, does it, is it way up here or is it way down here? Well, if I put in this function, or if I rewrite it, let me just do it up here. That's plus 52. Y equals. If this is just a little bit bigger than 5, that's a slightly positive number. And then the top would be equal to a slightly positive number as well. Because if I put 5, let's say 5.1 in there, negative 51 plus 52 is 1. But it's divided by a very, very small number. So that's going to go to pause infinity. So the graph's going to start up here, go through this point, and level off along that horizontal asymptote. Similarly, if I put a slightly negative number in for, or I mean a number slightly smaller than 5, this will be slightly negative, like negative 0 0.01 or something. If I put a negative in there, that will be positive. So a positive number divided by a very small negative number would be a big negative number. So the graph's going to go like this. Got to go through negative 10.4, the y-intercept, and it goes down. You might not be able to see that too well, but it goes down to negative infinity. So where is the graph negative? Because you want to know where the, the function is negative. That's, that's below the x-axis. Well, it, it's x less than 5, or x bigger than 5.2. That's exactly what we got in the last video by considering the two cases where x was less than 5 or bigger than 5. So we can do it graphically. I prefer to do it the other way myself. Take your pick. This is, I think this is a lot more work. All right, before we go away, what's the anagram for astronomer? It has something to do with what they like to do. First word is M. Second word is S. I'll give you a hint. It's moon. So take out, take out those four letters. What's the second word? Starer. They like staring at the moon. How do you like that? All right. It's only going to get more interesting, so stay tuned. Take care.